Welcome back everybody, this is Edwin the Magic Engineer, and in today's episode I'm going to be showing you guys an old school cube draft. And when I say cube, I literally mean cube. Look at this thing. Look at it, it's an actual cube and it opens up and everything. So I do literally have my actual cube in here. It's only uh, enough cards for five people at the moment. What we've basically got is uh, this last weekend, I had some friends over. I had Tavis King open boosters, myself, Daniel Chang, and his oldest son, and the five of us did a cube draft with the cards here. And then we actually played the game. And I'll show you uh, one of the actual matchups where Tavis and I were actually playing. I'll go through the actual cube that I've got here and even discuss a little bit what's actually cool about the cube. So let's get started. We are, we're doing a booster draft tournament. It is an old school booster draft. And I got some fun people here, like open boosters. We got Scott, and we got Daniel, and we've got- play Magic. Yeah, we're all gonna play Magic. And uh, yeah, we're all sitting here drafting. It is a five person uh, old school booster draft tournament, and we're about the first pack and a half right now, so. Can't wait to show you guys what I've got here. I'm happy about it. Okay, so many of you might not be familiar with what a cube draft actually is. To explain what a cube draft is really quick, just as this is for the new people that have never seen it, you first have to get familiar with the concept of booster draft. And a booster draft is something that's very common in a lot of card games, especially Magic. You take like a new box of cards and a bunch of people, like normally like you'll go to a store and everybody pays a small fee and then you'll have like 36 packs of boosters in one of these booster boxes and then you pay your fee they open the box you get three packs and a bunch of people all sit around a table and um, everyone at the same time opens up their first pack and there's 15 cards there and then you take one of those cards you draft it right take one of those cards and you put it into your keep pile and you take the other 14 and you pass it to the side and so then the person to your other side gives you their 14 and then you take, you draft one more, then you pass the 13. Then you take the, these from the guy on the other side, take one more, pass now. You, you guys get the idea. So you draft until that entire pack is gone. Then you open up the next pack and you draft the other way. At the end of doing this with the three packs, since they all have 15 cards, you now have 45 cards. And then you add in basic lands and then you can build a deck. But it's not like all the cards together. It's a 40 card deck. So most of the time you're going to have around 23 spells in the deck and around like 17 lands or maybe 22 spells and 18 lands somewhere about there. So for the lands, you just take the basic lands and you put them in the deck. And even though you drafted 45 cards, you're only going to use like 22 of them actually in the deck. So all the others are your sideboard. And so the two strategies you want to go for is you want to draft cards that you want to play with in your deck, but you also want to backdraft stuff that other so other people can't have it. Like if you were playing like a white deck and you're drafting white cards and then this white card comes along that's like, if anyone plays this on me, I'm just going to lose. Then you backdraft that card to make sure that that thing's out of play and no one's going to get to shove that against you, right? That's kind of the idea. That's how cube draft actually works. So sorry, that's booster draft. Now, when you, instead of doing a booster box, when you actually do a cube draft and somebody makes their cube of all these cards, it's generally like around like 400 cards, 500 cards in a cube draft. And then you try to get like eight people. So you, everyone can pair up and you can have four matches going at any one point. Um, what you generally do is the one person who owns the cube, they do Highlander style. They pick one of each card that is going to, so every card that's in the cube is not a repeat. There isn't multiples. Uh, only basic lands are actually repeated, right? And so the person who owns the cube, you set it up and you balance it. So there's equal numbers of all the colors, right? There's equal numbers of artifacts and lands. And um, you try to give a good balance for creatures and everything like that. So as people are opening up packs, you know, the game isn't just going to get real degenerate. You know, there's no matter what color or strategy people go for, they've got an option to try and do it. And there's a lot more technique that goes into building a cube and drafting. And I'm not going to go over all that. I just wanted everyone to understand what a cube draft actually is. And the last thing I'll say about it before we go to the next part, which is, I don't know, maybe playing the game. Um, cube draft is something you can do with any set. 
you can do it across like vintage or modern standard you can take like you know vintage cards and maybe like standard cards and put them together you can mix and match however you feel like and due to that and due to the fact that you can draft like any cards out of it based on how they randomly come up in your in your booster packs of 15 cards you have no idea what you're going to get it's always going to be different and so if somebody has a good collection and they're willing to build a cube, you could literally spend the next 30 years doing cube drafts with your friends, paying nothing, right? Because it's just you're just using cards you already have, and you're always having a chance to play. I don't think WotC likes cube draft because they don't get any money from it because people aren't like constantly going out and buying like new booster boxes. You're just you're using cards you already have. So it's really good for the players and it's a really cheap way to play magic and if someone sets up a good cube it's just fantastic so anyways a couple notes there okay so let's actually go through what's actually in this cube and uh i'll have to see i don't know if i can change cameras and make a good use of this i'll get this a little smaller so we got the actual cube here but this thing is just big this container so i open up the top and then there's a side here that actually opens and rotates out like this and then right there on the top, you can see there's uh, all the cards from the cube. And I'm going to take out all the lands here and I'll set them down. All the lands from the cube. Now I'll take out all of the actual cards to be drafted. For all the shuffling around. Okay, now let's move the cube out of the way. And so, of course, at first, you know, you're going to have, you know, lots of basic lands. So, um, I put all my uh, beta lands in here. So, you know, everyone's using betas. Because if you're going to have an old, cube, old school cube draft, you have to actually go with, like, original lands like this, right? I mean, you can't, can't go with anything else. <laughs> Gotta go with the originals. I think I was really thin. Yeah, that's right. I was really thin on the planes, though. I don't know where all my planes are at. They're in decks in some various places. So, yeah, that's all the uh, all the original beta lands there. Actually, they all go this way. That's the way you can actually see them. And so I, ha I ended up having plenty of lands. I didn't count how many are actually in each stack. But let's actually go through the actual cards that are in the cube. So the first thing that we start with is we're going to see the black first. I think I was trying to target somewhere around 40 cards in each color. So we'll just kind of quickly go through. You guys will recognize like most of these cards. I don't want this to be a super long video. So I'm not going to go through and describe what each individual card is. But I did try to like make it cards that are like worthy of drafting by themselves they weren't going to like require a bunch of other cards looks like i missed like some of them there okay so i'll have to remember to stay down low so that's the black cards that were in the cube let's get all these guys out of the way okay and then green was next oh no sorry blue let's get all the blue cards here do i have all the blue cards i might there's the white so it's just such a large amount of cards to try to like sift through, right? And there's the white. Okay. So here's the blue cards. Of course, you got Power Blue coming in here. Steel Artifact, Modi. Love that old counter spell like that. Transmute Artifact. And let's see. So we also got Psychic Purge here. Look at that uh, Serendi Buffery. He's a lot of fun. And a drain. Twiddle. Everybody loves Twiddle. A Suvian doppelganger. He was pretty darn good too. So there's the blue cards. Part of the cube. Let's get all those guys out of the way. Okay. Now let's see. Now I think maybe the green. Those are the green cards that were draftable in the cube. I don't don't remember who actually got the berserk. I'll get the ads. can't see those. There we go. 
There's the fast bond that got played against me. Yep, lots of good green cards there. I tried to go with the oldest versions of cards that I had to actually make it a bit more authentic feeling old school cube. Now I'll go with the red. There's the Blood Moon, Mana Barbs, Dragon Whelp, and the Mana Flare. Everybody loves Atog. Who doesn't love Atog? Not that one you couldn't even see. Okay. Then Land's Edge. Let's see, can I fit another one there? I can. And do maybe one more row here. There's a Sheevan Dragon. I really could have used that in my deck because I actually played a black red deck and uh, did not get the Sheevan Dragon, which would have been fantastic if I did. But we did have Disintegrate, we had Bolt, we had um, Fireball, Earthquake was in there. Lots of good X spells were all part of the cube. Okay, now the white. There's a balance, Charizard. Love that Sarah Angel. There's the moat. I don't remember seeing the moat. I'm not sure who actually got the moat. Personal Incarnation, Kismet. There's the Wrath of God. Lots of good white cards. You try to get a good balance of like um, creatures and you know enchantments, spells. You try to get like a mix. But then of course, if you're gonna put that kind of stuff in, you actually have to have uh, removal, like artifact removal, enchantment removal. Um, you need to have, your cube has to have threats and it has to have balances for those threats that people can get enough creatures so that no matter what color people draft, they're actually gonna have good creature balance. Everyone's favorite, here's the artifacts. Lotus and the Moxes, Soul Ring, Mana Vault. Chaos Orb, Time Ball. You know, it's an old school cube, right? So we can go right ahead and do um, Chaos Orb like that. Can't quite see that guy. Okay, fine. We'll do it up here. There. Suchi. He was a big player in my deck. I did actually have a Suchi, and he helped out quite a bit. Primal Clay was really good. You know, another one that was really surprisingly good was just a uh, Clay Statue, because the Regenerate... Um, I played him on people, and yeah, yeah, just a regenerator in a draft format is very surprisingly good. Because a lot of times people are sitting there top decking, trying to get a good card to put out, and you lay a clay statue out, and he just keeps taking creatures down, and that's just that's the environment that it basically is. Okay, last ones. Here's the lands. So of course we got one of each of the dual lands. You had to expect that. Then the Tabernacle and Misha's Workshop, City Brass, Library of Alexandria, Strip Mine, Desert, Misha's Factory, Maze of Ith, um, City of Shadows, Urborg, Rainbow Vale, Hammerheim, and Pendlehaven. And then just, of course, just all the basic lands added in. So that's it. Those are the cards that are in the five person old school cube. Um, if I was going to extend it to a normal size of like 10 people, I would probably. Um, then you, of course, you just need to have at least, uh, let's see for, for eight, sorry, eight people is a normal size. So I would need, uh, 15 times three. So 45 times three number of more cards to be in there. So that'd be 150 minus 15. So that's 135. And you'd be, I would need another 135 cards to be added in to make, um, have more than enough to actually do a draft for all eight people. And it'd be interesting to see what I would actually pick to be in the full size eight person uh, old school cube draft. Because I felt like I was starting to kind of like pick between cards that I just didn't really want to be in there. Something else I thought about doing with a cube draft with like an old school one is maybe taking just like some new creatures from newer sets that weren't too unbalancing but kind of fit the feel and add them in to kind of like flesh it out and make it more of like a creature battle. So anyways, yeah, that's the old school cube that I had. Hello and welcome to Edwin the Magic Engineer. <laughs> this is Tavis. Hey, Tavis. Hello. And Edwin. How's it going? Edwina. Edwina. All right. yep. So we're playing some old school magic cube. I'm Daniel Chang, your host. Yes, everybody, put in the comments below. I have. Wow, this you kept an aggressive hand, a very interesting hand. Okay. All right. 
Wow. Edwin, what's that cologne you're wearing? Isn't it lovely? Giorgio Armani. <laughs> All right, so who's going first? Wait, wait, most important thing. Yeah, yeah first Look yeah. at what I did not put in my deck. I what? drafted it, but it just did not fit. And you're I not, are you it. playing blue? No, no, there's no blue. Oh. But I couldn't let that go. I had to backdraft you that. Could, you could trade with uh, Tavis, who has all the good we cards. We've got yeah. five people in this draft. It actually makes sense to backdraft it. If you're going yeah. for first place, I don't want my opponent. All right, go ahead. Let's do it. So I'm going first, right? Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Island, tap, merfolk. Yeah. It's been like a superstar. I, I think you've done yeah. that every game. Your turn. I don't know how you do that. Go. Actually, the first game... Uh, Edwin, uh, this card's not as heavy as the others. It Ta floats to the top. Ta Tavis did uh, Merfolk, Merfolk Assassin, Merfolk, and Lord of Atlantis, and I was like in trouble. Mm. But the Neverl's disc saved me. That was it. Uh, let's swing. I'll take it. Your turn. Nice fast turns. Ooh, this is nice and fast. Something like that. Hey, doggy. Soaring. All right. Soaring. Fast turn. By the way, guys, if you guys watch Edwin's other videos, Swing. he has a lot of signed cards of a data set he had a yeah. while back. Probably his highest grossing view count ever. Yeah, they are a lot. Is his, signed. By the way, this is Mark Tadine's signature. For those of you who do not get your Mark Tadine signatures, tap that when you sit there, it down. There actually Suchi. are, there okay. actually are uh, variations of signatures. Four, four. Look at this. 4-4. Four, four. Look at how the R and the, and the T is. It's totally different yeah. than now. Completely different. Yeah. We're tapping it. Do you get mana burn on Suchi? Uh, we, said, we said at the beginning of this tournament that we didn't want to play with mana burn. But how does that normally work? Normally, if you, yeah. If he dies, then I'll get four mana and you got to spend it or you burn. But not swords. Okay. Swords is swords. Is yeah, hard. swords removes it from the game. Okay. But only graveyard. Yeah. Graveyard you burn it. Okay. He's got to go to the graveyard. Pass turn. So back to what I was saying, guys. Tavis stuck on two lands. Ha yep. Had the aggressive, yeah, very aggressive deck. Let's swing for four. Urkels? Oh, do it. okay. The so, soul ring goes back also. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yep. God, oh, okay. only Second if. Phase. Yeah. Oh, man. Black. That. That. All right. Go ahead. It's recast. So it's basically a fog, kind of. Yep. Yeah, it's an effective fog. Uh, Bottom right. time. That was gambling, yeah. Let's see. Options. Hmm. Yep. Let's go for this. Serendib? Serendib. German or Portuguese. Ifrit de Serendib. Manatifalo Portuguese? Voler. That's. Yeah! No, Italian. Here. Okay, can you come in here for it? Daniel's uh, filming. No, 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 I'll pause it real quick. Okay. <laughs> we have a ruling, guys, for Dan's game. Does it come into play tapped or not? Oh, this doesn't make things come into play tap. He, this is going to exchange control. Does it untap on my turn? Or okay, so, oh, it's so he tapped it. He used he's it, right? He's used it. Rainbow Veil, vale, guys. We have Winter Orb in play. Control of Rainbow Veil Rainbow vale passes to an opponent oh. at the end of turn. That's only when it's been activated, though. Correct. So, yeah, so it's it'll be tapped, but it'll pass control over still tapped. There you go. Oh, okay. So, so, so guys, is. so if you Rainbow Veil vale with Winter Orb... If, he, if the other person uses it, that comes in tapped. Interesting. I didn't ever know that. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought about that because... So Scott played that? Yeah. Oh, nice. He played Rainbow Veil. Vale. All right. Hold on. Hold on. We're back to Edwin's game. Hold on. Go. I'm going. All right. So that was a judge call. Edwin is our level 1.8 judge. <laughs> level 1. Are you, a, are you a judge? No. By test? No. Okay. Swamp. It's a crap roll. load of mana. Yeah, it is. Jeez Louise. Okay, let's do... Dragon Will. Okay. Dragon Will. Maximum. Maximum one. Let's see. What do you guys think about this card? And then we're going to swing for four. Hmm. So maximum um, three, it. five, maybe yeah. maximum five, three. That's the most you can do, right? Flying. Yeah. Then I'll pass turn. Which is pretty powerful, by the way, guys. Yeah, it's good. Shiva it's dress, that kills Shiva Dragon. Yeah, in a draft, it's pretty good. Kill he can Shiva take Dragon. down a Shivan. Yeah, it does. He can take down a Serendib. Too. Where is the Shivan? Oh, where is Shivan? Where is it? I, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. Did you not put it in the cube? I think I 
did. Really? I'm pretty sure it's or, in or here. In the back it might have been in the two packs that nobody opened. Because oh. I passed after that. This is very interesting. Okay, already untapped. Yeah. Okay. And you have no red mana untapped, so you can't no pump red. it. That's right. Yeah. I take one from the, the Serendeed. Upkeep. Yep. 15. Let's see. Let me go ahead and play this Dragon Engine. Dragon Engine. 1 3. All right. And we'll swing with the Serendeed. Take three. 15. Your turn. How's your phone focus so well, dude? What setting did you put? Um, what setting did I put on my yeah. phone? Yeah, it's so good at focusing. Yeah. Um, For Samsung. I don't know, I didn't do any settings or anything. I just used it as it is. This is an eight? Uh, uh, yes, it is. Yeah, eight. it's so weird. Mine eight was not this good. So you're at 15. Mm -hmm. All right, sorry. No problem. <laughs> um, Everyone has a ridiculous amount of mana. Swing for... Thinking, just well, I'm, I'm attacking. Well, yeah. six. I'll take it. Um, I will pump once. Okay. So take seven. S seven. Yeah, seven. Go okay. ahead. I know. It's fast. Yeah. You need one of these cards to, and you're getting serendip damage. is really lame. Oh, uh, yeah. You got to swing. Got, have you been swinging? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, seven. okay. Okay. Oh. You're seven. Yeah. Yep. I'm seven. Okay. Let's. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Control magic on Ooh. this guy. Oh my god. That's not good. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be funny. Okay. So and guys, is you guys are still or no? He's still tapped. He's still tapped, yeah. He's still tapped. Is that the right move, guys? Yes. No way. Now you're hmm. tapped out? Yeah, tapped out. <laughs> what life are you at? <laughs> I am at 15. 15. Right. This is interesting. Yeah, let's go ahead and swing with everything. So one. Now see, this is actually fun two, because you just lost. Really? Yes, you, you shouldn't did. have done that. Yes. Okay, watch. This is how. I knew it was risky, but. Okay, are you feeling me? Yeah, I'm feeling. Okay, me. watch. First, I will disharmony. Now, this oh, card okay. I was going to draft too, but now I. Now I will take your Serendip, and I will declare him as a blocker. So, okay. you, so you could take one. Okay, explain because I don't see yeah, a card that. Yeah, yeah right. so it, it, I take control of the creature and it comes yeah. into my side untapped. Okay. And so I can use it to block one of your attackers. Okay. And so there's multiple ways I could win this at this point. But so it's I'm, like a mind slaver. Yeah, for, but it just takes that creature well, for just yeah. that just that just moment. Just one turn, right? So I'm going to take it and block it. And what I could do, I'm actually not going to, because I'm going to You're win going to block about this. It I'm going to block. I, I'm going to block one of your creatures. Okay. Yeah. Right now. So which one? Um, engine. Okay. okay. So so that's the play I'm gonna do. Now what I could do, I'm not going to. I could howl in howl from beyond your guy sure. and kill your own Serendi with it. Yeah. And so they actually kill effectively each other. Yep. I could do that's that. A good move. But I'm not gonna do that because in the next turn I untap, swing you, because now you have no defenders and I right. howl when you lose. Right. Ah, so the howl did. So that's good. I knew you didn't have enough red to pump it. Yep. To, uh, to get rid howling so. mine. X instant speed. How how many damage? It would be to start it. One, two, three, what a combo. four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got it. Yep. Game. Yeah. All right. Game two, guys. Good game. game. I'll, I'll pause it. So, guys, I'll pause this one, and it's going to be game two coming up. That, that was, was that was my so, 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 hold, hold on a yeah. second. Yeah. <laughs> so, if he didn't attack, then what would have happened? If he didn't attack, then he yeah, has he, another, yeah. He tapped out. So, he left himself yeah. no options, and I had the win in my hand at that point. Yeah. So, it's better to leave the Serendib alone. Well, he had no idea I had that. If, yeah. So Tavis didn't misplay because right. he didn't know. But now you know. Happened. You kind of have to think about. Well, it. Well, he might not have it next time either. So. Yeah. yeah. You're aware, yeah. Yeah. Tavis didn't make a mistake. <laughs> he, he he was fine. All right. I do not know. Game two coming up. All right, guys. Uh -huh. All right, guys. We're back at game two. This is uh, between Edwin and Tavis. Who's first? Uh, Tavis is. Yeah, Tavis. Okay. Okay. All right, go ahead. Tavis. So I'm playing first, huh? Well, this is interesting. You have a lot of choices here. Let's see. Let's do an island. And Murphy will get the Pearl Trident. And a lotus. Oh, a lotus! There's a lotus. And let's go ahead and start the race. We'll just crack yeah. it for a tablet. There you go. Tablet. Interesting. Copper okay. tablet, guys. There it is. You, yep. No mana burn we're playing, guys, so that's okay. Okay. Tablet's out. Yeah. Yep. yep. Your turn. Okay, no mana burn. So you lose, lose the damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did. Yep. Yeah, we had to see uh, Edwin's hand. What was yeah, your hand? Go uh, ahead. Edwin, yeah, that was your hand prior? Was your hand, was that your hand before? I think I drew this. Yeah, okay. 
Interesting. Oh my god. Your turn? All right. Okay. Chaos Orb, of wow. course. Go ahead. Okay. Damage. Oh, yeah, thanks. I'll put it right here, Tavis. So I remember. Yeah. On there. He keeps... <laughs> he keeps... <laughs> Nettling him. That's why I lost, guys. Hmm. Let me read that again. Sure. We have a reader. Nettling him. Just cannot attack. It's just for another turn. So what does it do? It has to attack or it forces the creature to attack. Oh. Your turn. Go to with... Take one for the... Oh, yeah. yeah. Take one for the team. <laughs> That's a 1-1 one, one besides that. So I'm playing Dan next mm, after yeah. I record this. Right, Dan? Recording it for posterity. Yeah, the first game for Edwin and Tavis was pretty quick. This one's a little different. Is there a question there? Go ahead. Brothers of Fire. All right. 1-2-2. Yep, that's the thing that killed my creep. Yep. Whoa, okay, so 2-2. Two, two. Critical damage. Shoots myself. Oh. Too. Yeah. Yeah, that's worth it though. Interesting. Get rid of creatures and stuff. It does. We got rid of the most important card in my deck. Ping Master. What card is that? Huh? Time oh. Level. oh. Oh, that's rough. <clears throat> you take damage for that, right? Because it left the game? No, you, when you pull. Only. Okay. Only. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see, he's a 2 2, so there's no point in swinging, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pass turn. Let's force him Damage? to attack this turn. Or, or Damage? Destroy him. Um, tablet? Tablet? Okay. Tablet? Yeah, that, that affects it. It is on the stack. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not. Did you already draw? Uh, what's that? You drew, drew them. I, I drew. Upkeep, okay. drew. upkeep draw. On the stack. So, so upkeap one during the. Yeah. The... yeah, but you didn't take the damage. Yeah. There we go. Because yeah. you drew, right? I, I drew. Yeah. Um, so that. The talent's important, guys. <laughs> you guys keep. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think about what I'm going to do here. So you want me to attack? Well, you know what? I'm going to do a damage to your nettling imp. Okay. And one to myself. Okay. So that looks... And that doesn't require me to tap to do that. Nope. Oh darn. He's a tap three mana though. Yeah. So that's yeah. Dead. So this this is gone. Yep. Okay, now I'll go to my attack step. Swing for two. Okay, I'll take it. Then I'll pass turn. All right. 15, and then you're in uh, Copper Tablet? Yep, Copper Tablet, thanks. Untap, upkeep. <laughs> I gotta keep reminding you guys. Yeah, keep on. Good thing you're all here. Right, all right, all right. I'm gonna trade here. Island? Merfolk? Merfolk. You sure you wanna play that? I might with, as well. With the Brothers of Fire on the table? Uh, there's not much good in my hand. Okay. <laughs> uh, your turn. What? Tablet? Oh yeah, tablet. Thank you. Good job, Dan. <laughs> you guys keep. What? You don't <laughs> understand. Uh, yeah. Well, you don't understand. I actually, I actually like. We need I, there's a few that actually happened that <laughs> you're, you're doing I, I would have uh, not got. There's a one two. Yeah. Oh okay. One two. One two. There's a one one. Yeah, you can't just ping them. See, he's no. sure about that. Ah. Oh. The engineer. There's. I thought he was a one-one. Yeah, that's fine. All right. There's other ways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, swing. Oh, I'll take it. Okay. What? Use your chaos orb. What is going on, <laughs> Tavis? People in the comment section, please, 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 for the love of God, what's going Hold on? on? Second main phase. I'm thinking. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Let me get that open. Play statue. Oh God! All right. Regenerator three one. Is it three one though? Yeah. Really? I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pass turn. Okay. Uh, during your turn, let me go ahead and destroy that. Okay. Well, I can't stop that. So untap. One three. Upkeep. Let's not forget this time. Eleven <clears throat> versus fourteen. Tap this and this for a drudge skeletons. Oh, yep. that's interesting. And the statue's three three. 3-1. Three, 3-1, one. Three, one, which is Regenerate. It is. Two Regenerators. You probably don't want that trade, but... Hmm. 
and regenerate. And you uh, can't regenerate him right now, right? Or... Right now, I cannot. Okay. But yeah, let's try it. See what happens. We'll, we'll swing and... I'll take it. Okay. Your turn. Uh-oh. Up. There it is. Twelve. Matonia. I think it was acting like a spike. I'm just thinking. He acts like the Brian Weissman. Just thinking. There's some crazy cards here, though. Who the hell would draft this crap? I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. How do I want to run this? What a different way to play Magic. I, I normally don't it do is. this. Yeah. All right, what we got? Pestilence. All right. That's enchantment, black, what's it do? Do one damage to any target? Yeah, to all creatures and players. Wow. It's nice with regenerate. It is. It's like a hurricane. Does it disappear when there's no the creatures worst, and players? The worst. It, it does. does. No, okay, yeah, it, it disappears does. when there's no creatures in play. I don't even remember. And I'll pass turn. Mm. Is it 3-1? 3-1. All right. 3-1 regenerator. By our yep. copper tablet. 10 to 12. The race is on. Hmm. And it takes two to regenerate? <laughs> I yep. know, right? Two. Yeah. Well, in old school. <laughs> <laughs> Let's swing with both of these. Um, I am not going to block. All right. Take two. That's okay. Your turn. Okay. What? What? On top. Nine. Blue is five, guys. Dark blue is five. Yeah, dark blue. Um, go to tax step. Ooh. Okay. Tax step. Statue. Statue. Mm -hmm. One, three, one. Hmm. Um, I guess I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Wait, wait. How can be on? Ah. So what's the total? Five. Five. Five plus five. So it's, it's plus five. So yeah. yeah so it's eight, eight total. All right. Let's make it two. Thank you for the copper tablet, by the way. Yeah. Go ahead. What? I am confused. Is everybody in the comment section confused as much as I am? We'll discuss this in a minute. Please. It might be good for discussion in the comments. Yeah, I want to know what's yeah. going on here. Okay. Let's so see. you're at one now, right? Yeah, I'm at one yeah. now. One. Yeah. Draw? Yep, I, I drew already. I got an island, played it. Hmm. Can you kill me? Can you do nine? Oh, I doubt that. But what's the best move, even if I can't win? I still gotta do the best. You move, gotta right? get your copper tablet off the table. Yeah. Your own tablet's yeah, gonna kill you. Um, hmm. You also gotta get my pestilence off the table. Yeah, because you can just do damage next yeah. turn, one turn, yeah. Let's go ahead and psychic purge. That'll work. That'll get him. Statue, yep. And. Attack. Yep, let's go ahead and attack. Makes sense. Okay, yeah, I take two, unless something else happens. And I suppose I will play this assassin. Okay, so I'm at seven. Your turn? Pestilence. So, up to right? I guess. <laughs> unless you want to pestilence before upkeep. Let's <laughs> see what I get. Um, yeah, I suppose pestilence for one. Yep, that's yep. it. That's game. Yeah. All right. Yeah, good game. <laughs> All right, okay, hold on a second. I have, I have some really good questions. Okay, yeah. okay. The Brother of Fire, guys, replay this video. Yep. The Brother of Fire, why did you not blue, -y bl blue blast that thing? I, I totally should have played and I And I kept pointing at it because I didn't want to say anything. Right. Right. Good, good I don't want to be a dick, yeah. but I was like looking at you like, that I, I thing is going to ping your guys. It makes yeah, a disruption you. So that's what was in my hand. Did you forget? I think of the blue elemental blast as a counter spell. No, but it's interrupt. I, I forgot about... The Kills a target blue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, any targets. reds, any so red. That's what was in my hand. Yep. Like yeah. Yeah. And I kind of wanted to use it on something bigger, but I, I totally should have destroyed Target it. Target land, so it's like a land. It's this is really good. Yeah, well, the bigger one would have been this, but the thing is, he had so much. The buzz of fire can really disrupt. Yeah. 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 Especially yeah. with all my little guys. All right, well, yeah. good, good game. Ed, Ed, Edwin, any comments on that game? Um, Pretty Tavis sure. had an amazingly powered deck, so I think I got really lucky. You got lucky, yeah. I think. I think. Power. 
I think the misplay of the Brothers of the Fire would have caused the game to have changed. Because you would have not taken so much damage. For sure. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. We'll have other videos here coming soon. Bye, everybody. Yep. Bye. (laughs) So that was it. First old school cube draft. That's how it actually went. It was a ton of fun. We all uh, sat down. We drafted. We got to build our decks. We got to play. I think all of us played at least three games. And everybody was just getting exhausted because it was a crazy weekend and people started making insane mistakes. And I think Daniel's got a video that he might put out on his channel where uh, he'll see some of the craziest mistakes we were making towards the end. And we were just like, okay, we're done. Just call it a day. Anyways, thanks everyone for uh, checking this out. Um, tell me if you actually do with your own cube drafts and the kind of stuff you've been putting in. If you have suggestions for cards you think would work for those other 135 slots, just let me know. Uh, Thanks for cruising by. Bye, everybody.